So my name is uh, Frank Erasmus. Uh, I've uh, co-founded the company called Open Data Soft. So as you can hear, uh, I come from Europe. So the company was founded in, in France. Uh, and now it's been a few, uh, few months, let's say one year and a half, that we work also in, in, uh, in the US. Um, and uh, as you can see on this slide, the idea is, is to, uh, to show you how technology could be applied on many use cases, and I think uh, the use cases uh, mentioned by Curtis were very interesting. So I'll try to give you um, my expertise and the experience of utilities in Europe, because some of the utilities in Europe are already doing some kind of project, uh, and, uh, and, and, and in fact everything uh, is around data sharing, because if you want to have analytics, if you want to, do, to, to make some prediction, at least you need to get the data. So our goal is to help either municipalities or private companies, utilities and so on, to be able to grab their data, to share their data with either citizens or with their internal stakeholders, and then to build specific products. So in the case of private companies, we help them building data product, and for municipalities, we just help them building data portals for being able to exchange data with their citizens. So the idea is to show that in, in a few slides. And more than slides, I'd like to use some demos. So uh, we, we have a lot of public-facing sites. So I will use real uh, live sites. And I will also use uh, one or two demos, uh, so more smart city-centric. So just a few, uh, few words about us. So uh, we, uh, we are in Boston and Paris. Uh, we work in uh, 16 countries. So we have uh, hundreds, of the, hundreds of customers and serving both public and, and private sector. Our biggest customers are municipalities for now, and uh, the, the other ones are uh, utilities. So as you, you will see after, we work with lots of utilities uh, all around the world. Uh, and, uh, and we also work with analysts, so we are very pleased to, to be there today. So we work with, with some, some others too. Uh, and we've recently been awarded by GovTech 100 as the 100 uh, list of interesting solutions for GovTech, at least in, in the US. So uh, in terms of technology, uh, we really provide a data hub. So uh, as mentioned by, by Curtis, uh, the idea is uh, to be able to store data in, in some specific places. Uh, we use AWS, uh, so we are a cloud-based solution. But as we come from Europe, we also have a multi-cloud strategy because when working with utilities in Europe, uh, they are okay to be cloud-based, but they don't want their data to be stored under a US cloud, for example. So it's also important uh, to, uh, to offer those kind of customers in Europe, in Asia, a solution for them to store their data on the cloud, but could, which could be a national cloud. So you respect their uh, laws, uh, and you can guarantee that data are stored in a, in a given country. So for the US, it's a, it's a no-brainer, but it could be a, a topic for Canada, for example. So for some, some more sensitive customers, Canadian customer or Quebec, uh, they'd like to have their data stored in their given region, province, or a country. So, uh, cloud-based, and the real asset is to be able to uh, grab any kind of data from static to dynamic and to transform this data into other visualization, but also API. So for us, uh, the, the key asset of the platform is really to transform data into APIs, and based on the API, you are able to reuse, uh, to build application, or to feed another system. So that's the core of our uh, value proposal. So in a few words, uh, the idea is, uh, is to monitor and control who's going to use your data. So it could be citizens, so public facing, and I uh, will use some examples. Uh, it could be your business partners or customers. Uh, and, and you will see on, on the next slide that uh, some of our private customers are using us for building data products, meaning that they know that their data have some value but they also want to monetize that, so they, they use that to give access to their data or to specific services, and they monetize that. And the other interesting way also for data sharing, and, and mainly for large corporations, is internal data sharing. Because when you work with a pretty large corporation, when you have different departments, uh, and sometimes you don't want to rely on your GIS experts to have an access to a map, so how can you do that? So if you have a kind of internal data hub or internal open data hub, that's the, the kind of thing uh, 
are the kind of topics you, that could be solved. Um, so getting back to uh, how you can uh, value your data, uh, some of our customers are really using uh, the, the, the web uh, business model, meaning uh, disclosing or showcasing their data as a, as a freemium. So they have public website and they say, we have some interesting data on energy consumption, on uh, parkings, on whatever the topic. So anyone can access that for free, as long as uh, it's probably limited in time, in size, whatever. And then if uh, your end user is interested enough, then he, he moves from uh, freemium to premium. So a lot of our customers are using that uh, as a way to attract premium customers and also to test if their data really have any kind of value. So it's an interesting play. Uh, in terms of customers, so uh, those references are, are mainly utilities and, and uh, most of them, if, if not everyone, uh, is based in, in Europe. So as you can see, we work with uh, pretty uh, various types of uh, utilities, so electricity, water, gas, uh, and, and uh, as Europe, uh, the market is a bit different, so the, 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 for once, let's say the companies are probably bigger than the U.S. in this space, so most of those names are uh, worldwide leaders. Uh, for water, for example, Suez uh, just bought G Water, so a few months ago for $3 billion. Uh, Veolia is also a very big player, so uh, interesting, um, in interesting names. Uh, and I will, uh, I will demo just after that uh, some of the use case. Uh, two additional slides. So one with a very small uh, private company, Smartio Water. Their business is to sell, uh, manage uh, smart sensors. They are, we are in the water space. And they wanted to move in the value chain from being a smart sensor vendor to also be data driven and sell data services. So they've used our platform to build their data product. So the name is CityFlow. And who are the buyers of CityFlow? Municipalities. Because now municipalities, they really want to have more than uh, just raw data or more than just the PDFs sent every week, every year, or every quarter. They want to have real-time information on water quality and so on. So that's the kind of product they, they they need, and if they want to enter the municipalities market uh, in Europe, or if you, they want to compete or be more agile than the big monsters you've seen before, those kind of small uh, companies need to be innovative. So this is one use case. The other one is, is uh, also interesting use case. So the company is called CityLog. Uh, in fact, they've been bought by another uh, smart city player called Axis. So Axis is the worldwide leader in, in, in cameras. Uh, and CityLog business is, uh, to install smart cameras to film the traffic. So their uh, original buyers are uh, traffic operators, so they are filming roads, tunnels, so the, the cameras are smart, so they are able to count the number of cars, the kind of cars, and so on. So same, same topic, those guys, they wanted to move in the value chain and being able to sell uh, specific services, so they've used our platform to do that, and I will use their use case in, in one specific city. Uh, in Atlanta, uh, because we uh, we won a project with them, so we have real data from Atlanta. So I, I will use that uh, as an example. So now let me switch on uh, some demos. I think it will be. Okay. Okay. So most of the websites you will see are public website. So uh, you, can, you can go there and, uh, and, and use them. Uh, first one is the city and the county of Durham. And once again, the idea is just to illustrate what uh, can expect uh, some of your customers if you sell to municipalities, or what, I, what, what is the kind of technology they are already using. I think it's also important uh, if you want to sell them something or if you want to make any kind of agreement to know how they are equipped now and what could be their expectation in, some, in terms of data, visualization, or API. So that's why I'm using this, this site, for example. So here, it's, uh, so it's Durham, it's in North Carolina. It's, uh, I think the city is as a size of 250,000 inhabitants. And here, it's their uh, open data portal. And they are storing a lot of interesting things. So uh, development tracker, tracker, 
uh, survey, uh, crime, uh, data hub, open budget. Uh, and for example, they, they also have uh, an access to all their data. So if I click there, and uh, don't de depending on the Wi-Fi speed, uh, I rely on the Wi-Fi, but I think it's okay. So here you see all their uh, public data sets. So here you see there is 132 public data sets that anyone uh, can access to. Now if you want to search for a specific topic, uh, let's say uh, I'm interested into uh, this topic, so automatically, as a citizen, I refine my search from uh, this amount of data to 14 data sets match matching my search. And uh, uh, in this case, I'm looking for any police information. So here, uh, for example, uh, this city uh, publish every day all the crime reports uh, in, in Durham and Durham County. So here, uh, I can see that I have a, a bunch of records. Uh, so if I, if I do a sort, I think they update it every two days. So let's see. Okay, so last one was February the 13th, uh, two days ago. Uh, so here, I have all the crimes uh, since uh, 2013, I think, uh, in, in Durham. So information comes from the, the police department. So they've decided to do that. So some of the cities, and that's a big difference between Europe and the US, so you don't really have that in, in, in Europe. You don't have that. Uh, so it, it could be interesting or scary. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, we have crimes, but we, we, we don't disclose the, those crimes, at least not on, on this uh, detailed view. Uh, but this, in fact, could be useful when you are thinking smart city and safety. Because if you can add sensors, videos or any kind of sensors, and if you can map those sensors on the crimes that have been uh, that have been placed since uh, the, five, the last five years or on the new crimes, it gives you another view of what could be the safety, so based on public data and based on, on your sensors. So here, for instance, inside all those crimes, so I can either search per date, but I, I can also search per topic. So let's imagine I'm interested in a specific topic, and here, in a few clicks, in a few seconds, so you, you don't need hours, I mean, it's now the usage are, you know how to use Google or any kind of uh, software, so you don't need to wait uh, not more than a few milliseconds to get your answer. And that's the citizen view, once again. So same thing, now if I want to, to drill down uh, here, so I, I have this view of the city, uh, if I want to draw a, a polygon, for example, and say uh, I'm just interested uh, because I'm, I'm living here into a, a given polygon in the city, so this polygon. So here, I have narrowed my search uh, into certain records, and if I match any of these, uh, so it's pretty rough uh, or uh, strict uh, police report, but uh, it mentions weapons violation and so on. So, uh, and this is super easy. So at least cities have this kind of tool now, and of course, you can export all these data. So you, we, we were mentioning how can we exchange data, so automatically uh, you can export and you have also uh, an API access, and that's the key. So for example, if you are uh, a real estate uh, startup like Zillow or Trulia, that's super interesting for you because you can match real estate, real topic with the crime reports, with the quality of schools, and those data are open data. So there are heavy reusers of this kind of data are also real estate companies. Um, now the, another use case uh, with another city, just to, to show you what exists. So, uh, so this is Paris, for instance. Uh, and, and now those kind of cities, they also want to be KPI driven. So that's the internal KPIs for the city of Paris. Uh, and in fact, they want to be seen as a, a very uh, innovative city. They want to attract startups. So these are their goals. So they also use this kind of platform to measure their goal. Uh, so, for example, if we go on, I don't know, citizen services, uh, and, and here the idea is not to give this kind of access to their uh, data scientists. Who are the people are, who are accessing that? Uh, city officials, uh, chief data officer, even maybe the mayor uh, of Paris. So here, for example, you can see the, the equivalent of the 311 in Paris, so uh, 39775. And the, the goal uh, at that time in August was to measure the, the number of calls and the length uh, time to answer, so it should be less than one minute. 
Uh, and here, same thing, the idea is uh, to get these data uh, out of their legacy system, so we don't really care where are stored the data. What's interesting is how can we reuse any kind of data no matter where they are stored. Uh, and the cloud-based approach uh, help, uh, help this kind of thing. Um, other, other use case and, and closer to, uh, to some smart city usage is, is this one. So this one is in Australia. And the topic of, of this customer was just to measure the quality uh, of, uh, of, of the beaches because uh, they, uh, they are only concerned by tourism. So to do that, they just installed very basic sensors to measure uh, uh, bins and, and toilets. So bins, should they, so the idea was to, to measure uh, empty or full or half full bins. So in this case, we've worked with uh, an IoT provider to, to, to have the sensors and, and the specific network. So once again, it's, it's very basic, but sometimes it's, it's enough to start a project. And of course, it costs not nothing, but almost nothing to do that, but you solve very quickly uh, a problem. Uh, so, and, and then if you want to uh, get access to the data, same thing, you have some kind of visualization, you can see uh, historical data, and, and then you can start to analyze. You can start to have some specific uh, metrics, uh, so, but at, at least you, you get the data. Uh, other example, and, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very interesting difference between the uh, US and Europe. So EDD uh, is one of the largest uh, distribution company in France, so they are serving 35 million uh, customers. And what you see there is their data site. So it's data.edis.fr. So it's public. So they are using a data-driven approach to share information on consumption, on types of energy that has been used, on a lot of interesting things. So here, in, in their case, they, they are sharing with the public 41 data sets on different topics. So I've used Google Translate on, on this one. Um, but you see here, for example, if you are interested uh, on, I don't know, energy consumption by uh, different sector, so residential, uh, commercial, and so on. It's very easy for anyone to, uh, to have this information per department. So you just need to click, uh, and you have uh, so the, the name of the, the region, uh, the code, uh, the, the consumption, how many uh, sites are concerned, and you can also access all this data. And everything you see here is, is public. So if you are a startup and you want to sell specific services to optimize energy, you can also reuse that. And for example, they, they, they also use that to animate their ecosystem of reusers, startupers and, and uh, other universities that now can be fed into data thanks to this approach. Um, now let's get back to, uh, to Atlanta. So just to show you the, the city log, uh, uh, website. So, in fact, their business is ready to sell cameras, but they are also trying to sell services. So, their product is called City Cloud, and in fact, what you see here, so City Cloud is made out of our platform, and City Cloud is the product they've sold to Atlanta. So, not only they have sold their smart cameras, so the smartness is inside the camera, so the EIP of this company is inside the camera, and then uh, they also want to be uh, more innovative than that, and they're also pushing uh, some kind of analytics uh, uh, based on their, on their product. So here, what you see is, uh, is, uh, is, is, a, is a view of North Avenue in Atlanta. So I think they have around 90 cameras. So you see four cameras per intersection. So it's live data. And the thing is, so if I click on any of the camera, and, and the project in Atlanta is called Renew Atlanta. Uh, and the idea is, is to be, uh, so it's, it's a pretty large project, and, and they've just started by the traffic uh, in, in this use case. So if I click on, on, on this dot, I will have a screenshot, so it's been updated uh, probably one minute ago, of this intersection in Atlanta, so in, on North Avenue. Uh, I will have data coming from this camera, so the speed, average speed, numbers of cars, uh, occupancy, and uh, as the camera is able to detect cars, uh, vans, or truck, uh, I will have all this information. So pretty, pretty easy, so, and, and it's live. Then if I want to have more information or I want to access this information thanks to an API, 
So here we only have three data sets, but they are live. And once again, it relies on cloud-based solutions, so it's uh, super quick to implement uh, and, uh, and super easy and not that, not, not that expensive. So here you see the timestamp, so everything is being updated uh, every minute, so it's, it's real live feed. I have all the images here. And for example, if I want to narrow my search on a specific avenue or a specific street, let's say uh, I want to focus on Spring Street, just need to click there. And I will have all the image of Spring Street, so every minute. And if I want to know more about this car or this red car, just need to click there. Uh, and I will have uh, not only the image, but all the metadata information that comes outside of the camera. And then if I store that, uh, I can have some uh, specific uh, information and, and I can analyze that. And of course, it's always easy to share this data with uh, other systems or other providers thanks to the API. So this is really uh, something uh, feasible and, and easy. And the last example is uh, Georgia Power. So we, we work uh, with uh, GE Current uh, and with Georgia Power and uh, AT&T. So th this, is a, this is a demo. But the view of Georgia Power is to propose something uh, broader in the smart city. So they, they want not only to be seen as a, as a provider of electricity, but also of services. Uh, so here, this example is based on some sensors that exist in Atlanta, and one of the use cases is traffic. And if they can provide this view, it's because CityLog and at least the CityLog customers are okay to share their data, because it's, it's all about data sharing. Because, uh, so you will see exactly the same view embedded in something larger, because uh, Georgia Power is interested in having some, some uh, more global footprint. So if I go on, on planning and uh, let's uh, take into account or let's keep in mind what we've seen for, for Durham. So if I click there, uh, the example would be how can we map uh, the crimes uh, with the, the sensors. So here, some, sen so, so some G sensors were installed uh, in, in this location and uh, they've decided to also have the crimes, so against people and against property. Uh, to map this zone. So this effect, so I'm not an analyst, but this effect is either you have those cameras so there, there is no crime here, or the cameras were installed in a bad location. I, I don't know. But at least it gives you an overview of the crimes, the location, and the sensors. So once again, that's something pretty uh, easy to build. And of course, you need some data analysts to have that, but it's really a matter of how can you mix different data sets from static to dynamic, uh, and how can you give this view to uh, some stakeholders. So I think I'm done.